Hey guys, Scott Baxter, USPTA Elite Certified Tennis Coach here. And if you're like most doubles players, you've probably been working hard on your technique, but maybe you're not really seeing any improvement. Your technique is getting better, but you keep losing to the same players, and you've been stuck at the same skill level for months or maybe even years. If this sounds like you, I've got some good news. There's actually a simple fix here to finally get you over the hump. The problem you've run into is there's a ceiling for every tennis player on just how good you can actually get if you don't know how to move on the doubles court. No matter how good your technique is, if you're in the wrong place, it makes every shot harder. A low volley is a tough shot for the Bryan brothers, just like it's a tough shot for you, but the difference is the Bryans avoid low volleys and other tough shots by being in the right place at the right time, and that makes every shot much easier. Balls you watch zip by you at the net you can now poach. Lobs that used to be devastating are now easy overheads, and low difficult volleys become high put away winners. Movement is the secret to double success, and today I'm going to show you the number one reason rec players get beat by the lob. If you stick with me through this quick training, I'm also going to hook you up with something awesome at the end, so don't go anywhere. Let's dive right in. So there's a lot of ways to transition to the net, but the most common by far is the invite. The invite is when you've broken your opponent down, they've generated a short ball pulling you forward. And from this position, this is where we're not recognizing what's happening and why we're getting beat by the lob. Let me show you what I mean. So most of us in practice, we're practicing hitting approach shots deep. So our goal with these approach shots is to get the ball past this line, pushing our opponents back off the baseline and creating more space for us to attack at net. Now here's what's counterintuitive. When we successfully do this, both me and my partner up at the net here, we're seeing probably a partner, or excuse me, an opponent that's pushed off the baseline, off their back foot, their racket face is open. We're thinking, man, they're on defense. We need to attack. We need to close in. And this is the mistake that we're making. What's counterintuitive here is for the first time ever, on the tennis court, you've put your opponent on defense and you're actually going to attack by backing up. All right, And this is the mistake we make. Again, we close the net too tight. If we just paid attention to the visual cues of our opponent opening their racket face and hitting off their back foot, we would know that instead of closing tight, we're going to hover back here more towards the service line and expect that lob to come, which would give us an easy overhead. So I know a lot of you are saying, well, Scott, what if I can't push the ball deep? What if I try to hit my approach shot deep, but my ball lands right here? And this is not best case scenario, but what I will tell you is you don't need to be worried about a lob most of the time from this position because a ball that lands here pulls your opponent forward. Usually they're going to set their feet and they're going to rip. So again, while it seems counterintuitive, even though you've hit a weaker ball, you're actually going to close in tighter to the net in anticipation of your opponent trying to drive the ball past you. So that is how you solve getting beat by the lob up at the net. Again, pay attention to the visual cues. When you hit your approach shot, did this opponent back up, hit off their back foot and open their racket face? If they did, back up and hover. If the ball lands shorter and you see them set their front foot and take a big wind up, close in tight to look to close off that volley. So that's it. Pretty simple stuff, right? Technique is obviously important, but no matter how good your technique gets, if you're in the wrong place, you're making every shot harder and you're going to lose doubles matches to weaker players you absolutely should be crushing. If you like this instruction, it's actually just one piece from a course we created called Doubles Movement Mastery. In this course, Nate and I show you the 23 other common movement mistakes and super simple fixes to correct them. Nate and I have been teaching tennis for over 20 years, and these are the 23 mistakes we see over and over again. And once our students stop obsessing over technique and fix these mistakes, the results have been pretty incredible. Club championships, USTA national titles, Division I college scholarships, this stuff really, really works. We normally sell this course for $199, but right now you can buy it for just 49 bucks. I'm guessing you've spent a ton of time trying to perfect your technique, but you've probably never spent any time fixing your movement. And the best part is, it's really easy, so you're going to see results quickly. We're already making this an easy decision for you with a massive discount, but to make it an absolute no-brainer, I'm going to throw in two incredible bonuses to take your doubles game even further. While we know movement is huge, technique is obviously still important, and once you're in the right place up at the net, you still need to know how to hit the ball. Your old way of training technique, though, was probably focused on shots you're not really going to see very often, 
And now that you're in the right place at the right time, there's really only a handful of technique fundamentals you need to master to be an absolute monster up there at the net. So in bonus number one, our net mastery course, we're gonna show you these fundamentals and show you the right way to train volley technique now that you know how to move. We normally sell this course for $99.99, but today it's yours for free when you pick up the Doubles Movement Mastery course for just 49 bucks. So that's bonus number one. On to bonus number two. I think we all know that doubles becomes a lot easier with a big, reliable serve. If you can do damage with your serve, it puts good movement on steroids. Poachable balls for your partner, they're now easy overheads. Getting to the net, it becomes 10 times easier. And you'll rack up free points each game with aces and service winners. So, bonus number two is a course called Serve Mastery that shows you a simple trick to give you more bite on your slice serve, a drill you can practice to finally hit high bouncing kick serves, and how to get the whip effect to generate more power on your flat serve. Again, this course normally goes for $99.99, but it's yours free today when you pick up our Doubles Movement Mastery course for just 49 bucks. So to summarize our game plan here, we're going to first fix your movement with Doubles Movement Mastery. Then we're gonna show you the simple technique fundamentals you need now that you're always in the right place up at the net, and then we'll put your results on steroids by turning your serve into a weapon. This is $400 worth of coaching that will quickly transform your doubles game and you're getting it all for just 49 bucks if you sign up right now. As Soon as you complete your order, you'll have instant access to all of these courses and you can start improving your doubles game right away. Lastly, you don't have to risk a single penny here to get all of this great coaching. Our doubles movement mastery course and your free bonuses are covered by our 365 day money back guarantee. Get in there, play with this stuff for a full year, and if your doubles game doesn't improve or you're not satisfied for any reason, we'll refund your $49, no questions asked, and I'll even let you keep the bonuses for free as a thank you for giving our doubles movement course a try. So that's it, it takes less than a minute to complete your order, and you will get instant online access to our doubles movement mastery course, as well as your two amazing bonuses. Go ahead and sign up, and we'll see you inside the course.